if we're thinking about autoimmunity as a potential problem, the question is, first off, how did it get there? So we now have this concept of autoimmune encephalopathy of infectious etiology. So this is where infections actually turn on the immune system, or the acquired portion of the immune system specifically, and it goes rogue. So if you think that the problem is the bug, you have to go treat the bug. All right. First and foremost, you've got to go after the underlying infections. But in strep infections, such as with pandas, but in Lyme disease, we also know that it can do this. We also know that Bartonella and Borrelia uh, are capable of turning on the uh, acquired immune system. And we know that it's capable of turning it on in such a way that then starts to attack itself, this autoimmunity that occurs. So in order to effectively treat these people, we have to treat not just the bug, but we also have to treat the immune system itself. And so the Cunningham panel becomes crucial in my workup of these people to find out how much of an autoimmune process I've got going. Because if all I've got going is bugs, it makes my life much easier, right? Go kill bugs, viruses, whatever it is we need. But if the problem is autoimmunity, then I know that I've got to do work on both addressing the underlying infections, be they viral or bacterial, uh, but also in addressing uh, the autoimmune process as well. So you can check the ANA, but the ANA frequently in these people is normal. Uh, there's a whole uh, Mayo Clinic panel that we can check, but the problem is there are so many receptors that we don't check all of them. The nice thing about the Cunningham is that it's identified those receptors specifically in the pans pandas population, and so we use the molecular error to get a couple of different pieces of information. One is, and the CAM kinase giving us some indication that there is an ongoing infection that's still in the still in the person that we have to address. The second is what antibodies are in fact activated.